remember the delightful Captain Tom Moore, who did so much during that terrible time at the early stages of the pandemic. If you remember, of course, he marched up and down in his military form in his back garden to raise so much money for the NHS. This is the NHS that we're always told to clap for, protect and save. So where did Captain Tom's money go? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. I hope you're keeping well. Thank you as ever for joining me today. It is lovely to see you. We're in that middle period, aren't we, between Christmas and New Year where people are not quite sure what to do, you know. Should you do something invigorating, like start that novel you've always been promising to do? Or should you say, just flop out on the settee and eat more chocolates? As you can see, you can see what I've been doing over the last few days, not necessarily following that stricter advice. But of course, it is also a time for just relaxing, recouping and regrouping. And of course, this is what we're looking at here in your sort of political news story of the day. Now, I was shocked to find, but I don't know about you, but in a recent uh, reveal, the NHS has seen a 50% rise in managers who are now earning over £250,000 a year. That is, of course, the National Health Service here in the United Kingdom, Scotland, Ireland and Wales. Incredible when you think about it. And what's more incredible is this. The managers aren't exactly medically trained, so they apparently are either accountants or businessmen. Which got me thinking, exactly what did happen to all of that money that the very courageous and, of course, incredibly British Captain Tom Moore did with that 30 million, which everybody truly applauded him for. I don't know about you, but I love that picture of Captain Tom being knighted by our gracious majesty, the Queen, bathed in that Windsor sunlight. And of course, he took it all in his stride. They're both in the same era, so nothing really fazed them. They'd lived through so much. So seriously, you know, you could see the fun between them. And I know that he was absolutely delighted with the honor, as of course was our gracious majesty, the Queen, in giving it. This really goes back to the story of the day. As I say, when you think about it, £250,000 a year for a 50% rise in NHS managers. He really makes Captain Tom's valued efforts pale into insignificance. So searching around, there is a little bit of information on certain websites about where the money went. Some of it's very, you know, applaudable, if you like, you know, buying lockers for staff, uh, safety things, equipment, stuff like that. But I don't see 30 million, you know. Now, what's interesting is I put a call into the NHS press office. This was way before Christmas, and I put another call in and an email. Still nothing. Nobody seemingly wants to get back to answer those questions. When I did track someone down, they basically told me this, that in due course, everything regarding Captain Tom's money would be revealed to the public. That's all very well and very noble and in fact it should be given the fact that he gave up so much of his time and of course raised so much spirit as I say during that terrible time of the pandemic but more importantly you know how can we here in the United Kingdom and as I say Scotland Ireland and Wales truly save the NHS would it really matter for all those really truly hard-working frontline staff at the core of of course saving lives if when you see at the very top these medically untrained people pocketing over £250,000 a year. And of course, yes, it is a business, it has to be run correctly, but why so many managers? And also, doesn't it truly make a mockery of all the things that these people are doing to raise money, apparently to save our much-loved National Health Service? When I find out more about where Captain Tom's money's finally gone, I will let you know. But as ever, I would love to know what you think to this particular story in the comments below. Should they be slashed, these top-rated, highly paid managers? Or indeed, are they worth their money? I know my feelings, but as ever, we have to remain impartial. But I'll let you decide exactly what your thoughts are about this particular story. And of course, do share your wonderful memories on a truly great Britain. Let's all salute Captain Tom. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.